Oh my God, I can't believe what they did, you know? After four and a half years, like, whoa. Like sometimes when I look at my skin or just the fact I, I just, just so many things. Like the conditions I live in. And then when you smell a fucking dead body with poop, it, that, that one was the grossest yet. In the bathroom and they're scampering around. It's just like I say it is too. It's fucking, it's so fucking insane here. And then they flush and then they're down there. Dumping stuff. What do you think they're fucking dumping? Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, um, and you know, and then with baby getting sick like that, it's been months that I had to care for him um, to get him through because he was going to get out of it. Me and baby were going to get through it. It was really serious what happened to him with baby, what I had to do to save him. It, I'll save it for later. Um, but it's part of why I chewed the military and the whole world, the whole world. Yeah, I included the whole world in there in one sentence. I said the world. I chewed everyone on the world out. <clears throat> Um, because it's, I'm there. I'm at that point. Now, I'm not putting down, like, experts that have really high IQs and titles to jobs that, come on, you know what I mean. No, but, I mean, the conditions I live in, I'm always having to plug my ears, constant noise. One of my cats is no longer coping at all here. Um, I'm trying to maintain too much. I'm doing okay because I have a routine and I stress manage it all but um it's not okay and it's th these terrorists here are now being hunted by middle east terrorists I, I, i'm trying to stay safe with way too much stuff going on around me i'm like i said in the thick of counterterrorism counterintelligence that most most people even i would imagine most military people don't get caught up in. So the fact that I would move out is is why I said what I said. Because I, what the fuck am I supposed to say when I leave here? Like this, no, no, I'm not moving out. You bring in those helicopters, you're going to stop flying them over the fucking house. Hold on, the cat. Miggy? You're disturbing everyone. And you're going to search this house, okay? I'm not moving out of here by myself, destitute and poor. I have noticed a lot of the Americans that I've interacted with just recently, just take my word for it instead of making me state a case, okay? They are reveling the fact that I'm still this destitute and in abject poverty. They're, they're so fucking out for money here. That is the only thing besides drugs that the terrorist population values. That the fact that I have maintained and didn't sell my body or kill myself because of the abject poverty that I have been just never ever able to escape ever. Um, they really feel like they won. They, yeah, ha, ha. And, and you can't come in the house. Ha, ha. They, these people in the country are going to get it, okay? Because there's no fucking way you can have somebody do what I did since 2017 and not end up in fucking shambles here. I am out to do that, and I've said that, and I will do it. This country will be toppled. Your cities, towns, and villages will be destroyed. And now, after everything, I don't even feel any guilt. I realize I'm doing what actually needs to happen so that other people outside of this country cannot be afraid. You got guys in the military that are raping young men with their hands on really dangerous weapons. And they're putting out in their military press that this is good for morale. This is done, folks.
there's, I got one objective here, all right? I just said it, so why don't you rewind? Um, as far as morale goes, I, I did type that because God spoke to me. He said, you're going to hurt the morale. Maybe people overseas and here at the Pentagon and stuff, you know, or in America, read my account who might be um, in the United States Armed Services. I have already said, okay, I'll be president. Before 2018, 2019, when I wasn't saying that, um, bef that was before you had evidence to prove that you had a sitting president who was a terrorist. You needed a president. So, but you, not, and so fucking noisy in here. You needed a president. And I just said, hey, God spoke to me that day, by the way, but. I said, hey, okay, I'll take the job because I'm trying to help everybody out. They need somebody. I understand the reasons I'm not going to get um, sidetracked with that. But even before, maybe some of you were, were on my account, right? You know, because of what I, I'm doing and been doing. So, all right, that's that's justifiable. but And it's understood. And, and maybe after four years, people have made a connection. Okay, look, that's possible. I've made a connection with some of you too, especially after living here. After living here, I mean, this is urban combat I'm in. And, 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 and to have people tell me I'm not in urban combat when you're smelling dead bodies and you're filming a bitch making bombs is a bunch of fucking bullshit. Okay, but anyways, God spoke to me today. He said morale. Just so I put that in writing and I hope that the right people read it who might have needed to, you know, if they started to get upset because... I'm ban blasting Russia. I'm ban blasting United States. Um, I kind of had to get it off my chest because it's been boiling up for a few days now, you know, and it's going to come out and it did. And anybody who's known me after four years knows that's kind of the person I am. Fucking noise here, man. It's, I just can't keep things inside too long. It's probably good that I'm like that, but it did. It came out. Is I'm never I never have a moment of silence and the sirens today go fucking ask somebody who lives here who doesn't lie about sirens, the kind of noise I live through. Like, look, I've had the, the fuck enough. I'm not gonna be a pleasant fucking person from here on out. I am not moving out of here. You are not CIA and GRU, allowing that to happen, okay? And Biden, I know God's already kind of you know however God talks to people, He's told me. The Pentagon has plans for Biden. He can no longer keep this bullshit up. He cannot represent the United States. He's by definition a fucking criminal terrorist. No more of this crap. Okay, it's so noisy. The cat is fucking banging off in there. I never have a moment of silence. I wanted to film. I had a lot of other intentions. But as I have lived in this house, whatever I seek to do and want, it gets bashed down. I'm in a terror cell with fucking murderers who make bombs and want to hurt alive innocent people cooped up in a room with two animals and, and, and fucking animals outside. So thinking I'm going to have a nice quiet place to do a nice video is fucking never going to happen. All right, I find myself getting upset. All right, but I, at least I think I said what I really wanted to say is A, Biden does not represent the United States of America. No, he's by definition a criminal terrorist. He's by definition aided and abetted. He's finished. He's off. He, they fired him. Okay, and B, the morale. <clears throat> you got to expect I'm going to get like this. I, damn right I'm going to say something to these alphabets. Stop flying over the fucking house. I've had enough of it. All right? I'm sorry if that hurts your feelings, but focus on the fucking country I handed you. You know, I'm just not up for it, all right? Fucking search this house, bring North Korea in, do fucking something, because they won't stop making weapons here. And they need to. I can't do anything about it. Do you see how pissed I am? All right, bye.